Hello everybody and welcome back to the Collector's Vault. My name is Mike and today we have a new product from Yu-Gi-Oh! that I would love to show you guys. Uh, Dual Power came out uh, just last week and I'm pretty sure I'm a little late to the party for this. And uh, the reason because I ordered this a long time ago in pre-order. Uh, just one box. I did not order a whole case because I personally uh, was mistaken and I thought that I this was not going to be a good set to invest in. I got one just for fun, and I kind of want to show you guys basically just, uh, you know, see what I get in this in this uh, one box. Maybe talk about the set a little bit. Uh, talk about some of the cards that you want to pull. Uh, I think uh, when the set before the set was officially released, uh, there are a lot of these things uh, cases opened up in Europe, and the pull ratios were all messed up. So And that's kind of what scared me when it came to investing in this, like in cases of this, because, you know, I felt like I, the you just would have lost money on the terrible pull ratios. Uh, and I think apparently in the North America, uh, I think that people are saying that there's a clumping issue where some boxes will have like uh, higher ratios of certain cards more than they should, like kind of like you know way above average, and some can get incredibly low averages on, on their pulls, and that's uh, a little sad. So. Let's see what happens. This might just weak. Here we go. Okay, so most notable cards to pull in this set. Uh, Infinite Impermanence, I think, is still like a $40, $45 plus card. Uh, Evenly Matched is a good one. All the hand traps, the ghost girls are in this set, like uh, Ash Blossom and... Uh, uh, what's the one? Haunted, uh, ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. I don't draws in this. I think Ghost Over's in this. Uh, oh yeah, they come with their. Uh, ugh, get this crap out of the way. Came with the usual like this, this. I think this set's supposed to like succeed the legendary collection, so they give you a little hard cardboard mats. To be honest, I actually think that the designs in these mats are really cool. I just don't like the hard cardboard. Like imagine if this was on like an actual like felty mat. That would be really nice. But. Anyway. I get you a little promo pack. I believe uh, all the guys that you see here are your promo cards. And the artworks all look, look pretty cool. I actually really like the Stardust Dragon uh, in particular. Yeah, we got Dark Magician. Pretty cool. Neos, which, again, I really liked his artwork. Uh, re really cool looking Stardust. Actually, I'll be honest, these all look really cool. So I think this, is, this was a cool little promo pack to get. Uh, the Outdoors looks a little bit awkward just because from the backside. Cool uh, decode talker. All right. Anyway, so like I said, hoping to pull as many of the hand trap guys as possible. Hopefully, an evenly matched. If you pull in permanence, that's the best you can hope for. I don't think there's any like a. Okay. That's a. That was a swing and a miss. Sorry, the light's a little terrible here. Uh, Trish, oh yeah, that's right. They have reprinted some of the better Necros cards. So Trish was pretty cool. She didn't hear it. Goki can Okay. Well, that's one good card to pull. I think he's only like four dollars though. Okay, uh, this is a, a very good reprint. I think this is only like a dollar card, but this used to be the original was like f uh, fifty dollars for that Crusadia deck. Unicorn. Ooh, card of mine's pretty good. Uh, signal Warrior Patchwork. Okay. That card of mine is actually not bad. Alright. Halfway through. No hand traps yet. Uh, Miracle Fusion. That's pretty cool. I don't know why they put this card in the set. Uh, the Spellbook Link Monster. Nine Tail Fox. Gold Gadget. That's kind of cool. But unfortunately, another swing and a miss. Again, this is kind of like what I was afraid of when it came to buying cases of this box. Like, I was worried I'll just, I'll just get too many boxes like this with just a bunch of, basically just a bunch of bulk. That's a really cool looking card. Kind of, <laughs> Alright. King Calamity. 
Oh, there we go. Ash Blossom. Pretty good. Uh, fortunately, not worth what it used to be, but I'll take it. Oh, shit. All Fusion and the Super Red Dragon guy, but again. The Ash is pretty good. All right. Uh, final pack. So far, <laughs> this set was, again, this kind of shows what I'm talking about. So far, with these cards being the more notable ones, this was this box uh, was not worth purchasing. But let's see if the last pack can save us. Uh, that's cool. Reprint. Uh, oh, this is actually a really good uh, the legacy card. You know, Dark Witch and cards are always worth money. So that's kind of neat. Kaleidoscope and. Ah, uh, yep. No evilly matched. No. Uh, well, only one hand trap. No ghost spell. Uh, no Cyber Dragon Master. And no infinite permanence. This kind of means that this set was not. This was just not the best box ever. So yeah, I just, just wanted to show you guys kind of like a, <laughs> just wanted to see what I got. Basically, uh, this is all I really got out of that one box. And this is the reason why I didn't want to invest in this set. I have friends who, who have invested in this set and just pulled pretty badly. So, you know, buyer beware. But uh, thanks guys for watching. And uh, yeah, take it easy.